Megan, great to be with you. Thank you. On TV, here we are. Megan, <laughs> TV, you know, radio, we can show up in our shorts and hoodies. TV, makeup, It's a hairspray. little bit more involved, isn't it? Yeah. You look great, though. Thank you. Well, and it's, you look great, too. And it's fun. I mean, we've been doing radio for, what, almost five, five years? Five years now, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So here we go. We're going to hit the ground running. Hit the ground running with a little <laughs> TV. Keep the camera on Megan, and things will be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Here's what we're talking about. We're talking today about, you know, financial tools versus strategies. I think a lot of people have 401ks, IRAs, insurance products, and the like, and think, you know what, that's my plan. Are the products or the tools, are they the actual plan? I, I think they have the stuff, right? But they might not know how it all fits together. Um, think of it like your financial junk drawer. You open up, I, everybody has one. I, I know I do. I have one in my, my kitchen. I've got hair bands and paper clips and all sorts of stuff in there and I open it up and it's hard for me to find stuff and they definitely don't all fit together. It's like that sometimes with your investments. You might have an old 401k, um, an annuity, a life insurance policy, maybe a CD, and you're just not really sure how it all fits together. And so our job when we get to sit down with families is to take the investments and I mean this is the business of their life savings. It's so important. We get to take all that information and we get to figure out how it all fits together and create a plan for them. And so I think that that's one of the things that we do that kind of sets us apart is that we focus more on the plan. Um, think of it like this. My my dad was a roofer growing up. You know, he, he it was an important job, um, but the contractors would come to him and the first thing he'd set out on the table is the building plan, right? He'd need to know what kind of pitch and everything that went into building that house. But the first part is the plan. So you have to make sure that you have something to be able to put everything together to make sure it's gonna work like you want it to. So most people that come in to see you probably have the tools, right? The tools right. in their retirement tool belt, what they're looking for is the plan. Mm -hmm. Is this something that we could do you know, by ourselves? Oh, well you could, right? I mean, you could do, do it yourself. I could do it very successfully, no. I mean, I could literally go onto the internet and learn how to do brain surgery, but you probably wouldn't want me to do it on you, right? I trust you, Megan. You, oh, do you? Oh, I, I heard it here first. Um, the idea behind it is that you could do it yourself. And we do have some people that come into the office that do want to spend their time in retirement managing their own money. They want to focus on, um, you know, looking up every single stock and investment and analyzing it. And that's where they're going to spend their retirement years. But that's very few and far between. The majority of the people that we work with, they want to spend their retirement doing the fun stuff. They want to travel. They want to spend time with family. They want to enjoy uh, the fruits of their labor. I mean, this is, the, this is the thing they've been waiting for. So they want to enjoy it. So they want to take that burden off of their shoulders, um, allow us to create that plan for them so that they're not worried about where the money's coming from. I mean, let's face it, in retirement, you are asking your dollars to do something completely different. Right? I mean, we didn't need income uh, while you were working because you had it from your job. Well, a 401k was never really structured to do that. It was meant to grow. And so now we're asking those dollars to provide income to you. It's something completely different. So our job is to come in, take a look at what we've accumulated, and recreate a plan that's going to allow it to do what it needs to do, which is provide you income. Which is, this is really important stuff. We, we don't want to make a mistake at this point. Well, it, it could be devastating. I mean, you know, we are talking today about how do we take the stuff and make sure that it's invested the right way to create what it needs to do for you. And everybody's gonna be different. So it's not a cookie cutter plan. We're gonna sit down and really identify who you are, what you need, and see if we can help you get what you want. And the whole purpose of this is to create the plan around it. I mean, think of it this way. I only, I only make a few things uh, for dinner. I make lasagna and tacos, and that's about it. That's about all I can cook. <laughs> That's the extent of my uh, culinary uh, expertise. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the lasagna ingredients and I'm gonna lay it out on the counter. Now, if I just look at it, I don't have lasagna yet. It's got the stuff. I just have the stuff. So what I need is the recipe. So think of it that way. That's what we bring to the table. You already have the ingredients. We provide the recipe and together, magic. <laughs>